All right, guys, welcome back to the Combat Athlete Physio YouTube channel where we take human movement science and we bring it to the combat sports. Uh, today we're talking about something that I really enjoy talking about, the acute loss of consciousness that we see in the combat sports, particularly in fighting, MMA, and even more particularly today, the UFC. What better footage to use for this, to explain this from a biomechanical and kind of a cellular perspective than UFC 17's the Tuburia knockout over Oliveira. Okay, I hated to see... Uh, Oliveira go down so early, uh, but I'm also a Tapuria fan, so it was a little bit bittersweet. Okay, so let's get into it. Whenever we take a punch to the jaw, particularly to the jaw, to the temple, we used to think that the brain bouncing back and forth would create this kind of coup contra coup injury is what it was called. But now a lot of the research is kind of pointing to, it's pointing to a number of things, but one of the main theories, particularly from a biomechanical perspective um, and a cellular perspective, is something called mechanoporation. Okay, so let's break that down. Whenever Tuporia hits Oliveira here on the jaw or on the button, it's accelerating into this nice triplanar movement. So it's going into flexion, or when he brings the head down, rotation, which would be right rotation here, and then left side bending. So it would be pushing him into flexion, right rotation, and left side bending. And that rotational or angular acceleration and then subsequent deceleration is what causes the brain to shift around inside of the skull. And with that shifting inside of the skull, there is a shear force that is created on the neurons in the glial cells that physically deform their cell membranes. And they create really tiny transient pores. And these pores or this process is called mechanoporation. And in one of my previous videos, I dive a little bit deeper. We look at some of the research and kind of break down what they did in the research to figure this out. And I think it pays to mention as well that mechanoporation does not exist in isolation. We've also got other concepts like transient axonal dysfunction or the disruption of brainstem arousal centers that also work in conjunction with this theory to kind of explain this, this idea of the traumatic brain injury um, as a result of the shearing force that happens on the neuron or particularly the axon. The axon is where this is this deformation is occurring. So one more time, it's all the way through. We get hit in the face, like Oliveira here. We have either a linear or rotational acceleration and then subsequent deceleration. Angular tends to be a little bit more damaging is what they're kind of figuring out with the literature here. So we have a linear or a rotational uh, acceleration then subsequent deceleration causing the brain to move around in the cranium. And whenever that happens, we get this shear force, and that causes a lot of mechanical tension on the axons. These glial cells, that, that their cell membranes physically deform in a process called mechanoporation, which then leads to a disruption in the transmission of signals. Uh, and if this happens at a high enough magnitude with a high enough force of a punch, uh, this can cause, they think, the acute loss of consciousness. So this is just a little bit of a breakdown. You know, this view was put out. I appreciate UFC putting this out because typically they're pretty stingy with this stuff. But what a great fight and with two, again, it was a bittersweet moment. But for you guys that watch my channel a lot, you know that I love talking about this. Uh, this is one of my favorite things to talk about and, and, and where I think a lot of research should focus their attention because I think the safety of the athletes would benefit greatly from this. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like stuff like this, and I'll see you next time.